My wife and I, Amanda, decided to take our honeymoon here on Kauai in 1988, the year we were married. In 1991, our son Nick was born here at Wilcox Hospital. We have two other children, and uh, we just love Kauai. We're probably not going to ever leave. So January 13th, uh, 2018, I was uh, driving north on one of the main highways here, heading north in the dark, and all of a sudden some headlights appeared in my lane with about a second and a half to respond, and we hit head on. I blacked out, but when I came to, there was all kinds of EMT, emergency vehicles, people talking to me, trying to help me. I was in a lot of pain. Uh, I knew that I was hurt. I didn't know how badly until I looked down at my right leg and it was pointing in the wrong direction. Mr. Worley, in addition to the bad femur fracture, the pulseless leg that we had to reestablish the pulse in, he also broke his left second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh ribs on the other side. So you got a stack of ribs broken here, a stack of ribs broken here, a broken sternum. That's a lot of broken pieces moving every time you breathe. And so for him to be able to cooperate, tell me where he's having pain, tell me about his medical history, while every word he was speaking was probably excruciatingly painful. I'm constantly texting family and letting them know, sorry, that he was in a really serious car accident. But just seeing him, how, I, I knew how broken he was. Of course I was scared, and uh, I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know if I was going to make it or not, but I figured if I survived the impact, then um, that was already a miracle. Because of the accident, there was significant pileup and backup in traffic. Our trauma surgeons were backed up in traffic. And on top of everything that was going on, we got the alert that there was a ballistic missile incoming. It's a lot of chaos that's potentially going through your mind, but I think the bottom line is we know we have a duty that we need to fulfill, and you try to put those other nerve-wracking, stressful ideas out of your mind to just focus and, and complete the job that you need to do. But they never stopped uh, giving me the attention that I guess I needed to have at that moment. So after we knew all his injuries, I think the most important thing is is the patient stable enough to go to surgery and it's a fine balance because the lung contusions can blossom and then they can go into respiratory failure but at the same time the femur needs to be fixed so they don't continue to lose blood from that broken bone. We took him to the operating room we were able to anatomically align his femur with the titanium rod and there were no complications with the surgery so at that point we informed Michael that he had a very long and difficult rehab ahead of him. I've got to say that my recovery was quicker than most uh, people expected. However, it was a long process. I think I was in a wheelchair for about a month, then I went to a walker, and I used that walker for quite a while to get around. My goal was always to be able to get back in the water, and for me to be able to get back in the water and surf or stand a paddle, is the thing that's motivated me the whole time to keep working on the rehab. Just watching him finally get to uh, go back to surf was a huge, a huge thing because I didn't think he'd be able to do that. As doctors, we put our heart and soul into this. When things go well, when we have patients like Michael who survive horrific injuries and not only survive them, but recover in a stellar fashion. These are the moments where we feel immense reward and gratitude that we have the tools and the staff that we need to provide excellent care and to make sure that patients have the very best chance of getting back to a normal life. I would just encourage people to never give up. Remember the things that you love to do and work towards reaching those goals because no matter where you find yourself in life, if it's down in a valley, if it's after an accident, there's always hope.